It looks like this slug has got lucky tonight. No beetles have picked up its scent. But we are obviously on the right track. One of the identification features of this particular one, and I don't know who found this out, <laughs> but uh, if you stroke the slug from its head end to the tail, it will waggle its body from side to side. Do you there see it doing goes, it now? Yeah. Now. There it goes. It's amazing. <laughs> that got some disco bit going on. <laughs> That's <isn't> right. <laughs> This is a slug which spends most of its time on the ground, but the ones we're looking for, that the beetle particularly likes, are the ones which climb up into the trees. Yep. So they're a different species, but we should be able to find some of those. Just check all the trees as we go by. Oh, there's a slug. This is a big slug here, right? This is the ash black slug, okay. which is full grown. It's the world's biggest slug. It can grow up to about a foot long, about 30 no. centimetres long, I've fully stretched Have out. you seen that? See one's about 20 centimetres long. Wow. But the beetle doesn't seem sort of put off. It just grabs hold of the slug, tries to get away, but once the beetle's got it, it's doomed. It looks like this slug has got lucky tonight. No beetles have picked up its scent, but we are obviously on the right track. Right, yeah. so we've got one here. This is the blue ground beetle. It's absolutely stunning creature. Wow, look at that, that's huge. <laughs> look at that, it's amazing. I can see it's trying to bite me there. So they have a very narrow front end, but very long jaws. Aren't they just? They really are quite impressive. There we go, look at that. I mean, this has always been a rare beetle. It was first found in Britain like in 1811. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't seen for many years and people thought it was extinct. And there was in fact a reward of five pounds, which is a small fortune in those days. Uh, put up for anyone who could rediscover this beetle in Britain. And eventually a lady found one, but she only actually got three pounds and a few shillings because it was slightly damaged. I thought she was a bit hard, That's very hard, hard done by, I yeah. thought, yeah. <laughs> it's been fascinating to see the rich wildlife of Dartmoor's ancient oak woodlands. But I can't wait to get back out onto the hills tomorrow to find out how humans have fared in this area over the centuries.